Check, check. Petter check, one, two. Hello, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm just gonna quickly run through what I had and what I took, well, what I took with me on the, the um, good start, the Cleveland Way. Uh, the weight of my bag was, I'm putting it there because I don't know at the moment. And bear in mind, I've got back and I've been on multiple, multiple day hikes since then. So I've just chucked together what I think I took with me. <laughs> and here we are having a look at it together. Right, let's start with the bag. The bag itself is the Osprey Exos 48 2022 version. And there are slight differences from the older versions, especially the version that I had and got used to. And I have done a separate video slash I'm gonna do a separate video, which I'll link here. That's on, the se um, on my second channel. And that just details a few of the differences between these two bags. And was it worth the upgrade? Check on there to find out. Right, what did I wear during it? Sorry if this isn't a good video, guys, but it's what a lot of people have asked me to run down what I took with me. So I set off in just clothes wise, I got this. It's just a, a running vest uh, that I got free when I did some uh, running, <laughs> some running stuff. There's that. Again, shorts, they're just running shorts. They used to have a liner in them, but. I just cut that netting out so that you can be a bit freer in there. But nut. Hat, lollipop lady hat, it's the outdoor research and it does come with a like a sun protector for the for the back of it, which I wish I'd taken with me but I didn't. Socks that I had on to, to set off in are these darn they need washing, that's for sure. These are the me darn tough socks. Gators are the montane. These little gators come in well handy just to go over the top of your shoes to stop little bits of stones and bits and pieces getting in and then eventually causing you a blister. And I reached out to Montaigne to get some of these, the plastic bits, because I go through them at a rate of knots. Like, I, went, I go through a couple of these on each sort of like long distance hike. And they don't sell them separately, so you've got to reach out to get them sent to you, which is a bit of a... I just mean, just make it out of stronger stuff. These are brilliant, but that, they're just weak. They just... they can't keep up. I mean, shoes of choice were just keep it lightweight, breathable. Um, these are the Lone Peak 5s. Ultra Lone Peak 5s. I've done a... I think I've done a video on these, but... These are brilliant. They've got a really wide toe box to give your foot room to sort of swell, which it does do. And they'll dry out pretty quick if you get them wet. And that's the idea anyway. On the outside of me as well, I have this Patagonia bum bag. <laughs> Just for carrying bits and pieces in. And when I put my bag down, don't have a pocket. So this is my pretty much just my pocket. Light the bag the bag on the outside of the bag right do you want how are you going to do this you want to come in here or what you go back a bit i'll go back a bit then fair enough you've won you win you win i'll go back a bit on the outside of my black diamond trekking poles with the cork handle these are brilliant i've had these for they've done some miles like um not much to say about these i use them to put my tent up so they're a no-brainer really and for long distance hike i think hikes i think Pulls are pretty important. Again, on the outside, in the front neck compartment, which is pretty easy access, I have my rain jacket, aka the bin bag, which is uh, that. It's a Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment collab. Super lightweight, no pockets in it or anything except for that one pocket that I've just seen there. <laughs> this is a professional outfit guys, come on. That's on the outside so you can just chuck that over myself. Also on the outside, two water bottles, a bigger one and then a smaller one that I can access as I'm walking through the side pouch. And then if I, when I find some water I'll fill this big one 
and I kept the littler one full of electrolytes as I went. In the brain, the top of the bag, shit shovel, speaks for its then. Some wet wipes, done. A little thing, it's like a snood thing, done. <laughs> Me sun gloves, which will just keep the sun off your hands and stops your hands rubbing when you're using your hiking poles all day. And these are outdoor research sun gloves. Said electrolytes. These were a lifesaver. They really were a lifesaver. Because I didn't, I want, you know, I want eating a great deal until I got sort of to the coast area. And they stopped me from bonking out, they're brilliant. Didn't save me on Otis Day though, I still struggled a bit. <laughs> Knife of choice is my McCallum Blades custom made little hiking knife. Don't think I used it. Don't think I used it once. Also at the top of here, just some compedes to hand. These are essential for me on any long distance hike. Uh, rain cover, it's my old DD rain cover because I lost my new one. Oh, it's up in, it's in the house somewhere, but I just took that with me just to chuck up a bag. Um, and a power bank, it's an anchor power bank. Leave links below for everything, but people ask me how I charge my phone and stuff on the route, and it's just a unit, it's one of them units, pretty big. Let's get into, let's get into main, let's get into main event. Oh, have I put it in the wrong bag? Nah. Where's my little first aid bit? There should be a first aid bit in here, I don't know where it is. And in there is Compedes, compi some pain ice cream truck. Do you want to get a lolly? <laughs> Compedes, hay fever tablets, painkillers, plasters, my tick key and mirror and tweezers. I keep it pretty simple and that's all in just a plastic ziplock bag. Let's get into it man. Jacket, didn't need this I don't think. I think I maybe used it once when I slept in the graveyard but it's this, it's the Patagonia Microlite or something or Summit Light jacket. Food, I just took sort of, I don't know, three of these because I knew there was going to be places to eat en route so I didn't take a load of them. My possibles pouch, I got my water filter, which is just the Soya Squeeze Mini, I think it is, and the Sinoc or Kinoc water bag. Let's put it all in. I've got a stabiliser for the gas, my gas canister. A dry towel for a myriad of different things, but mainly just for washing out the condensation in the tent of the morning and then draining it. <laughs> long, tight, come on. Turks long handled titanium spoon for yamming camp meals. My bread bags didn't use them but they're always coming with me because they don't weigh anything. Stove of choice. I mean I could have gone lighter but keep it. It's the uh, Soto, Soto Windmaster with a built in ignition. I love this thing. I think it's great. You can get a lot lighter things but I think it's great. And bug net which was used and utilised which is my sea to summit midge net. That's it for that. There was my pot, which is the Turks 500. A toothbrush, it's just a, just a bamboo toothbrush. Toothpaste. And this, which is me uh, CBD from Kent CBD. I just have that on a night, just relaxes me, relaxes my muscles, helps aid recovery. I believe there's a discount code for this. I don't know if it is still running, but if it is, it's worth a try. And I'll leave a link below for that. Clothes. Didn't take many. Just my Aklima, um super lightweight merino wool layer, which is the leggings to match and the top. Chuck them on on the night. Keep them dry, keep them clean. 
and that's like my pajamas for at night. Now these, these have been a lifesaver for me. My icebreaker, I think the merino pants. They've saved my life on uh, many occasion. Not my life, but my definitely my nut because of these sacks. Now. I like wearing these day to day and on short hikes. These are brilliant because they do have a like, you, you see that pouch, they've got like a liner there and you put your junk in there and it sort of keeps it separate from everything and that's fine. I thought, oh, that would be really good. But there's too much material, there's too much going on. And so that just really chafed me up early doors and uh, yeah, made a right mess of me. <laughs> so then I switched them out for this, which I like I did on the Cape Wrath Trail as well. These came to my aid and ended up being the only ones that I wore. A spare pair of socks because I like to rotate and they're again darn tough. Same make, decent socks. And then a spare t-shirt which is just a running t-shirt that I got free. And that's it for clothes. Electric bag. I take this, you know, this is a bit of luxury but I absolutely love it. And it's the... Blows up the airbed and doubles up also as a a light. So it's a lantern or a light. And you can also charge your phone from it as well. Amazing. And didn't need to recharge it, it lasted me the whole trip, so brilliant bit of kit that. My head torch, Petzl head torch. I don't think I used it, maybe used it once, but the Petzl Bindi bed uh, head torch. It's a uh, really lightweight, so that's coming with me anyway. And then Things like this, though. a little plug in case you get to, to a recharger. And then batteries for my camera, that's it. Pillow. Sorry for everyone, who, uh, for everyone who just watches my videos regularly or they've seen all this a million times, but this is just a, a few people did ask me to, you know, ask what I took with me on the, the Cleveland way, so this is for you. This is me Trekology blow up pillow, extra comfort. My, um, the Thermarest Uberlite. Perfect for me, that didn't, didn't let me down. Did not let me down. Now, the, and I took the, the sleeping bag of choice with the Rab Neutrino 400, I believe. I hope I did take that one with me, can't remember. And um, the tent of choice was the Gossamer Gear, the one. Which was perfect, it's super, look at that. It's so small, it's so lightweight, and everything I just kept so simple because I knew it was gonna be warm. And that was an understatement actually, it was, it was boiling. Um, and that's it, so it didn't weigh a lot. I just ate snacks and, and food as I went. And I kept it pretty simple. There are things in here, I could, I could get my bag lighter, and I do, I, I own a lighter bag. I own the Gossamer gear. Um, and I'll forget what it's called, but it's a lot lighter. I could have taken lighter things, but the way I feel about things like that, it's it's comfort for me. It's comfort and not just physical comfort, mental comfort. If you're taking things that you like, a few extra pounds here and there ain't going to do any difference really. It's comfort. This bag is comfortable to wear. It keeps it keeps it off your back with this mesh. Uh, tight mesh layer here. It's, a, it's an amazing pack and everything I had was just comfortable. I was just really comfy so yeah don't worry too much about getting everything super super light because that ain't going to help you. Worry about your fitness and comfort I would say. Obviously there is a balance somewhere you don't want to be taking a duvet and all that but there is a there is a, a balance to find between comfort and lightweightnessnessness. And the more I do these sort of things, the more or the less I lean towards ultra, ultra light because a little bit of comfort goes a long way when you're on long distance hikes. And that's it. I believe that's it. I believe that's it. If there is anything I've missed out, I do apologise, but I'll leave a full list of everything I've used. All the weights will be down downstairs as well. If you want to check that out, it's up to you. And I'll be back. I'll be back soon actually with my South Downs Way hiking video so if you're not subscribed already consider subscribing, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified 
when the first of the South Downs Way videos is uploaded. It's another heatwave. I said I wasn't going to do another heatwave camp, but it just turns out that's how it happened. <laughs> another heatwave camp. Another heatwave hike. Like, that's it. Have I missed anything? No. I've probably missed some, but never mind. Right, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah.